The Big Red Monster faces off against the game in a casket match on Monday Night Raw. Hi. My name is Tax Slay. This is my continuing Let's Play of 2K Showcase mode. Uh, and this is the HBK Triple H rivalry. And my immediate thought is that Kane and Triple H equals Katie Vick. Yep, totally the Katie Vick angle. Is that really, like, is that really a thing that you want to be retelling in video game format? Is that, hey, by the way, we did some messed up stuff about 12 years ago. 13 years ago. Like, I don't know that that's, 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 you want to avoid things like Katie Vick and Mae Young gives birth to a hand and that kind of stuff is not really what you want to be. Uh, updating your current audience on really chain wrestling with Kane and Triple H really that's come on now he's, he's a computer he can do it way faster than I can and that is very unfair so I will just continue to use the big boots and it's a strange that is that is not not the standard uh, WWE casket, but maybe I'm just thinking it's always Undertaker, so he always gets his, you know, black black caskets or whatever else that he usually gets. Can you reverse something, Kane? There you go. Let's do more chain. Okay, thank God it's actual suplex. And not more chain wrestling. I can't take any more chain wrestling. So, I don't know what... Like, obviously, I recall the broad strokes here, you know, and the fact that that kick thing with Katie Vick was very uh, disturbing. Um, but what are you doing, Kane? Boom. So, yeah. And of course, we're going to get a low blow because it's a casket match and he can do that because there's no referee on the inside because there's no disqualification because it's a casket match. So as soon as I can get up here, come on. I'm pretty sure I hit R2 at the right time there. Pretty sure. There we go. Jeez. Wait, his signature is a sidewalk slam? Alright, well, whatever. Maybe it was in 2002. Was that was that was his uh, signature? And there's pedigree. Open up the thing, and then, oh, it's Shawn Michaels. Because of course it is. How many times has he hidden in a casket at this point in his career? More than a few. Meanwhile, Kane is an afterthought here. And he's still wearing blue jeans. He just won't stop wearing blue jeans and boots. I'm gonna assume that that's not supposed to be Michael Cole calling that. It should be Jim Ross calling that because that's Jim Ross's job. So I gotta put him in the casket somehow. I'm not even sure I'm just supposed to do that. Get out of the ring first. No, out of the, out of the ring. Really? The worst. Just, how about I just leave and you just no, not to the corner. What do you? Good job, Kane. Way to be a team player. This is not what I wanted you to do. And I swear to God, if I lose this match because of your incompetence, Glenn. Can you let me get out of the out of the no out of the ring out of the yeah. Just, Punch me out, I don't even care anymore. Get me out of the ring. What the fuck is your problem? Really? I'm hitting R2 when it says R2. I am doing what the game supposedly wants me to do. And it's either too early or too late every time. And now I'm going to lose this match because Triple H is continuing to be, you know, 
what Triple H does, which is bury guys, and, uh, can, yeah, just, let me get out of, it's making me mad now. I can't get anything done, because Triple, there we go, jeez, longer. So apparently you can't leave the ring in a casket match. That's realistic. Really? You can't leave the ring in a casket match? I don't... Do two choke slams. Well, had you told me that earlier and not just let, let me flounder in trying to get out of the freaking ring, this wouldn't have been a problem. And then roll him in. Stupid. There we go. Apparently that's all I had to do, and I was making it harder on myself. Um, and there's your pyro. And then Kane can move on from this uh, incredibly embarrassing angle involving his dead girlfriend and necrophilia. And Shawn Michaels just is kind of still hanging out. Because, you know, that is the focus of this showcase. And not, you know, the monster came. Oh, that was interesting. So we'll we'll do one more because we're, you know, not, not that far into this as far as I'm recording and he's dancing on the casket because that's Good luck. Yes, how symbolic. Alright, so perhaps uh, now we'll move into a match where Shawn Michaels is not wearing jeans. <laughs> or we'll get this very disturbing freeze frame of him dancing on the casket. HBK is going to get ya. What is he, the, the boogeyman? I'm HBK, and I'm going to get ya. Alright. Booker T and Kane. I have very vague recollections of that tag team. Uh, certainly I remember Booker T and Goldust. Uh, but Booker T and Kane... Yeah. Okay. Sure. And here we go. Kane and Booker T versus Triple H and Chris Jericho. Sure. Seems legit. And because it's a tag team match, I'm sure it'll take me, like, you know, 20 minutes to do, because tag team matches in general are a pain in the ass in video games. But that is what it is. I'm going to get some classic Y2J here, uh, breaking the walls down without actually having the song, because it's YouTube and you don't want to get content ID'd, because that's no fun. So here comes the... Ayatollah of Rock and Roll, etc., etc. The following tag World Tag Team Champion. Is for one fall. Introducing first, from I'm from Winnipeg, you idiots. Canada, weighing in at 227 pounds, that stupid beard, man. That that beard was like, I get that you're supposed to be a heel, and that's you know kind of what you do, is have a dumb beard. I mean, look at Sheamus. Alright. Alright. If you say so, I'm gonna I'm going to take your word for it. I don't actually remember. So Alright, Chris, we're gonna cut you short here in the interest of time having to do a tag team match. Um And here comes Triple H. Did he wear his jean jacket? Probably not. Got that dumb big gold belt that I'm sure I explained yesterday is not actually the lineage of the WCW title. Uh, it is just the big gold belt that they handed Triple H one day. And they're like, we need more than one world title, I guess. So here's more than one world title. So we're gonna get um, any commentary here from. There it is. I was gonna say, Lillian, you're slacking here. What's wrong with you? Do a little camera spin thing. And these two guys do not get along. And of course, he's being accompanied by his 
wait, where's Ric Flair? Oh, there he is. I'm like, wait, he wasn't, he, he didn't walk down to the ring with him. He just appeared ringside like a magician, like a, like a sorcerer. He just magically was like, I'm Ric Flair, woo! And then he's there. Um, and I, I, I guess that's plausible, I suppose. I don't know. That, that's, if you're going to have a guy accompany a guy, have him actually walk to the ring with him. Uh, not just don't have it in his entrance because you don't feel like programming an extra bit of his entrance. Because that's kind of, you know... If you're going for accuracy, like, in this mode, at least do it here. Like, obviously, if you're not going to do it in the main game mode, sure, fine, whatever. But come on, you're going for accuracy. Uh, I would imagine that, uh, the Nature Boy, in real life, when this happened, didn't magically appear at ringside. Just, 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 just a guess there. And then we're going to get Booker T... He gets his pyro. He should have defeated Triple H at WrestleMania, but he did not, which was unfortunate. Um, that should have happened, but instead they just let Triple H do what he does, which is hold guys down with his giant shovel. Alright, get to the chase here. Well, still got one more guy coming out, and that's gotta be Kane! Introducing his tag team partner, All right. weighing in at 326 pounds, Kane! That's got to be Kane. Well, he beat him in a casket match, so I don't know. Nope. All right, all right. Let's get to the match here. We are, we are. We don't want to run too, too don't want to run too long in these videos because that's no fun for anybody. Uh, so who am I? I'm Booker T. Okay. Lightly damaged Chris Jericho. I can do that. I can maybe do that. There we go. What? Really? Really, Chris? This is how we're going to start this match. With me hitting the button and it not... Oh, come on! That's appropriate, but come on now. Just get out of the way. Just kick him in the... Yeah. Kick, kick him in the wing-wang. I don't know. Do what you need to do. Do what you need to do, Booker T. Hit him in the face as many times as possible much as it takes. There we go. Big, big knee to the forehead. Really? You're still gonna be... I mean, yeah, I, I, I guess you would continue to bring up the Katie Vick thing, but... I don't know. Alright. Damage Triple H moderately. Well... Do a little bit of that. Spinneroni, middle of the match. He's not exactly popping up to his feet here. Well, what do you expect, Michael? Did you see what just happened? That's funny. Oops. Come on, I'm pretty sure I hit the punch button. Someone needs to get needs to. Sure. Go tag him in. Go tag him in. Or not. I guess I screwed that's my legs on the Oh god, what's happening? Having some issues there, Booker T you had your legs stuck on the ring. That was uh an unfortunate game glitch. Get back in the ring, Booker T. Get back in the ring. Let Chris Jericho get the tag. No, go oh, tag out. Weirdo. Use your video game AI and go tag out. This is not my problem. I need to damage Triple H moderately. There you go. There you go. Hot tag to Kane. Oh, wh where are you going, Triple H? Ah. Uh, Billy and Chuck. Ah. Uh, Alright. Boom. And now we begin our work on... I hate when you're hitting the um the button 
which is the grapple button, and you're on the ground, and your guy just kind of stands there like an idiot, and it's like, huh, huh. like he's not actually doing anything, he's just kind of not cooperating, which is frustrating. Here we go. Back inside the hard way. Insult to injury. Nope. One little thing, which is a, a sledgehammer to the back. That's kind of more than a little thing. I don't want to know any more about Triple H's videos, to be honest. Alright, let's see if we can't uh, wrap up this nonsense by damaging him enough. Unsanctioned street fight. There was a referee, it was unsanctioned. Oh, come on. You would think if I'm groggy enough, he's gonna tag out. No? There we go. If, I'm grog if, if I pick him up and he's groggy enough, then me doing a grapple should not allow him to immediately reverse it. I like, I like that Ric Flair is arguing with the crowd there. It's really funny. Alright, tag in Booker T. I can do that. Perform a scissor kick and pin Triple H. Well, that's where it gets complicated, because Chris Jericho is going to interfere. Signature. Do that. Do that. And how do I do finisher? There we go. Scissor kick. Power pin. No, Chris Jericho, no! Okay. That was supposed to happen. Much better. I was surprised I managed to get that off and uh, not, not have any issues there. There's the Grab Monster Kane. They get out of the ring to fight on the outside. Those 5,000 pound steel steps, you know. Phenomenal. Uh, ref bump! Ref bump! But he can't pin him because there's no uh, referee because it was a ref bump. So. And now you can get pedigreed. Or spine bustered, or whatever he's gonna do to you, but it's not gonna matter because there's no there's no ref in the ring. And here's a uh, super kick. Still wearing them jeans. Come on, Sean. Put your freaking put your freaking wrestling pants back on, please. Is that supposed to be Earl Hebner? Because I'm pretty sure it's not Earl Hebner. Defeat by pinfall. What happened? Did we get a cutscene? What? The, what? What? Okay. That cut right to a video package, which obviously you're not seeing because it, it's a video package. And uh, those don't play too well on this stuff because they get the video blocked. So, uh, it's weird they transitioned from that right into a video package. That's kind of um, interesting because that didn't happen in the last showcase mode. In the last showcase it was a matter of, you know, you'd finish a thing, it would finish the match, and then it would go to, you know, either a video package or a weird spinning, you know, model thing, but now we're recapping uh, all the times that Sean interfered in Triple H's matches um, in his jeans, and uh, so he wants to be World Highway Champion. And uh, so that's going to be Survivor Series. All right, Survivor Series. So that that'll be tomorrow. Or no, are we playing? Oh right, the first chamber was at Survivor Series. I had forgotten that was before it even had its own paper. I'm like, this must seems all wrong. 
it does before it even had its own pay per view. So are they gonna make are they gonna make us play in the chamber? Is that gonna be the next match here? Because obviously that is a match type in this game. So one would assume it'd be the next match. Um, are they gonna mention that the chamber was an Eric Bischoff uh, idea and not you know Steph, which they've kind of you know retconned that bit of history there. Um. Yeah, so this is this is like the promo package stuff uh, before the chamber, and here's Triple H talking to Coachman because you know that was that era, and uh, I guess that's going to be the match for tomorrow. I don't know how I'm going to win that. That seems like that's going to be difficult against uh, a bunch of other guys and having to deal with those pinfalls and not getting my ass kicked by five other guys. That seems. Uh, all right, well, it just cuts right into it, so we're going to uh, retain the championship. Yeah, okay. Basically, run away. Uh, but that'll be tomorrow, uh, so look forward to that. And uh, that'll probably take up a whole episode by itself, because that seems like it's going to be a pain in the ass. So, anyway, uh, I will say once again that, as always, I am your host, Attack Slug. This has been my continuing Let's Play of the 2K Showcase mode in 2K15 for the PS4. And I will see you next time, right here on this channel. And I'm out.